Let's talk about one of the most successful British gymnasts of all time, with six Olympic medals and many World Championship titles to his name. Max Whitlock, though, has revealed that a fear of failure almost forced him out of the sport after last year's Tokyo Games. He's opened up about his mental struggles and how his daughter has helped him refocus on the challenges ahead. I lacked so much motivation, which I'm I almost I'm probably being too hard on myself now, but I almost look back and I'm, I'm still disappointed in myself for feeling so demotivated that I didn't even want to get up and do those three things to help myself feel better. I was obviously questioned on it, like, are you sure, blah, 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 and I'd always, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, a lot of people look at me and think that I've got it, I do have it all figured out. And I think it's just proof that no, no one does, I definitely don't have it all figured out. If I finished here, then I would finish on a high. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say that I felt like that. It's the moment I had a, a target, I was, I was a lot happier. So we're here in freezing Liverpool and we're here for the World Championship. What a world, six world medals, five man teams to Paris, five women teams to Paris, an amazing World Championship. So today's the day I'm trying my first promise team since Tokyo. Come on. So in the lead up to Christmas, I'm going to try and beat three Guinness World Records. The most Russians only ended up on all in one minute. The record is 40. Let's go. Three. Let's go. Two. One. Woo! 44. Right, today we are going ice skating. So I got my OBE, I was awarded my OBE on Wednesday the 14th of December. So the OBE for me is actually really special, it means so much. Yeah, it's been an honour and it was an incredible, incredible day. So we've got a quick rehearsal and then we'll be going to be on, so we've got 10 minutes till we go. Hello, thank you, how are you? So we're going up now, so we're literally going on the stage, we're going to do the quick rehearsal, see if it flows all well, see if it looks good and everyone's happy, and then, fingers crossed, should all go smoothly into plan, we'll be ready for the show. This is the official Commonwealth Games baton relay. Baton relay? Baton? Baton. Well, the relay was when you walked around, wasn't it? This is the official Commonwealth Games baton. It's got lights, it's got camera on it. I think they hit a message in the top, didn't they? I think that was a... They pulled out like a message when we actually done it. So. Oh, no. That's robotics, that. <laughs> I don't know if that's meant to be open or closed. I mean, actually. I don't know. So we're in Wembley Arena, ready for the show. Literally last minute rehearsals are just going on behind me right now and we're gonna get started with the show very soon. So I'm part of the, the athletes kind of stuff, the sport that's happening in 2022. But I'm gonna be coming out from the back of the stage, just over there, the uh, with a baton relay, and then joining Joe so Fraser and obviously Cameron Lynn, who are gonna be doing four horse just behind me, just down there next to those sofas where there's gonna be loads of celebrity guests and pretty cool stuff going on there. Um, there's also Andrea and Hanno as well, gonna be joining everyone on stage for a good chat. About 2022 and what everyone's been up to, what we've done in sport and further beyond as well. And it should be a good night.